Hello there, folks, people, and others. Yeah, what to call it? What to call you? Doesn't matter. Today we gonna try a streamer that I've been working on. Uh, I call it the Flash Bunny, and uh, yeah, we all love Sonker materials. Sonker strips because they are so lively in the, in the water and this fly is also that. Really, really a lot of movement so yeah, let's tie it up. Of course we will start with the rear hook. This is a Aurex NS122. The light sting one, this is the size 6. And I really like this flash material. This is uh, from Semperfly. It's called Crinkle Flash. I just take like 3 strands of this material and then I fold it once, cut it, and twice, cut it. And I tie it in on the middle and then fold this over like this. There you have the flash end. Then we will build the body. This is uh, Nature Spirit Sunk Strips. This is the color uh, light, natural light brown. And the fun thing is with this, when you when you tie the fly here, uh, it will will look kind of light, a little bit too light in the colors. But when it's wet, it's uh, it is re having a really nice natural color and this uh, color scheme I tie here is kind of a brown trout color so I tie it in and then we do these turns to rib the fly with the sunker material and a lot of people they say okay that will be a heavy fly but it's not I promise you you can throw this with a six weight depending uh, what size of dumbbell eyes you will have because it's not not that heavy at all like when it's wet and so <clears throat> we do the same as we did before we take this crinkle flash I take three strands of flash <coughs> and I turn it once fold it once and then we can tie it in same here in the middle um, so we have the flash on one side and then we turn it over to the other side then we just We finish this and we take a little bit of super glue to make it more durable. Then some articulation wire and 
then we take this floral red bead for a little attraction. And then to the front hook, this is a Arex Trout Predator, size 1. It's a really nice and strong hook. And here we use another thread. This is the 100 denier thread. start with the eyes. <coughs> Where did I put my eyes? Have I dropped them? Let's see. I found them. And I tie them pretty close to the hook eye because I want this kind of a little bit jigging effect when I'm fishing the streamer and I really eight turn it and pull the thread so I know they will stay there and then yet again some super glue I've only tried this uh, fly in my fish tank and it's moving really really nice. It has a really good movement so I have big big faith in this. So now we will tie this in. And I pull this. I do some turns and then I pull this back so I will know that this will have just be laying on the hook bend like that. Go to the front. <coughs> Turn this over. Turn down. I will tie this in this color, I will tie them in black, grey and also maybe some uh, yellow one because that is the colors which is nice or even maybe just a pure white one. <clears throat> and now we do the same as we did before, take three strands of flash, fold it once, cut it. Fold it twice, cut it, and tie it in on the middle. Then fold this over. strip again tie it in and then fold it and for every turn I pull the fibers the hair back And then yet again some flash, three strands of flash, maybe four if that feels better. This time it actually got four, four strands, 
fold them once and cut them that is enough then we will have tie them in on the middle of the flash on one side then fold it over to the other side like sort of a lateral line almost but it's not it's just giving them fly more more life and then time to do the head of the fly and here I use this bruiser blend <clears throat> dubbing or what to call it but this is a really nice streamer head material tie it in the middle like that <coughs> Oi. Yeah. And for the head Oi. <coughs> allergic um, for the top part this is the color hidden treasure and then for the bottom part this is butter belly And I tie it in and then fold the material back. <coughs> and we do it again. Spread the material. And there I feel kind of happy about it. I use a dubbing brush to brush the fibers a bit. Perfect. And now it's just to some half inch turns cut it <coughs> a little bit of super glue for the head and I brush the fly again and then I use a long blade scissor to shape the fly a bit, the head. don't overdo it too much and then of course I want a little bleeding point for the throat so I use a red marker pen just make a little point there perfect very happy about that one a little bit because if the dubbing here is too long it will just get tangled in the 
in the hook and that is not nice so perfect there we have the flash bunning hope you like it and uh, that you will um, tie up a few uh, material list is below in the description and please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment what you think so